Well, first of all, I think we have learned from Till that uh, patients can respond, right? That it apparently is good to have a polyclonal T cell population that's uh, infused in, um, in patients with cancer and that some patients will respond with uh, complete remissions and long term. So that's, that's an important finding from the study. But we also realized that uh, a large portion of the patients, or 80%, do not uh, develop a complete remission and therefore uh, may not benefit long term from this, uh, uh, from this treatment. So we have to do better than um, TIL alone. TIL is a very ancient uh, process, production process, uh, and with all the knowledge we have right now about the tumor environment, TIL, single cell uh, uh, technologies, we should be able to, um, uh, to find out what the cells are that are um, giving the response to TIL. And we have to find ways to enrich for these populations. So I think that's a certain, uh, an important uh, new uh, direction of TIL therapy. Can we enrich for those cells that are important? Other means are uh, to improve, I think, is for instance, getting uh, away from the high dose interleukin-2, which causes a lot of the toxicities that patients undergo. And that makes it probably much easier to treat more patients uh, and perhaps also patients that are more frail than, um, uh, than we have treated so far. Uh, and I think there are ways of, of doing that by making use of other cytokines, IL-2 variants that uh, are much less toxic than the high dose interleukin-2. Uh, uh, and there are ways of improving the fitness of T-cells and I think people are currently also uh, performing genetic screens to find out what the genes are that really improve the fitness of T-cells and then of course if you know that you can uh, uh, either knock them out if they are uh, uh, if they are, uh, uh, are causing let's say a lot less uh, uh, fitness or you can add something to make them uh, more uh, fit than they, than they are and hopefully with that we will see that, that uh, TIL therapy will become even, even better.